Hello web developers, we're going to be talking about bootstrap tabs and these are tabs that are based on, on, on navigations and provides an easy and powerful mechanism to handle huge amount of content within a small area through separating content into different panes where each pane is viewable at one at a time. So section A, so here we have a pane, section B is another pane. Notice that I did not have to leave this page to see the contents um, on both tabs. Also included in this example, a drop down tab. So we can add multiple items inside this tab as well. Notice that as well, I did not leave, leave left the page to access any of the information um, saved on, on those tabs. Okay, so, and the benefit of this is that the user can quickly access that content through switching between the panes without leaving the page, as we mentioned. And we're going to, uh, the following example, we'll show you how to create a basic tag component with Bootstrap. Okay, so let's have a look at our code. As always, we're going to be creating, um, adding our three references, um, our CDN, Bootstrap, jQuery, and Bootstrap JavaScript. Okay, in this example, we'll, already, again, added some um, CSS and basically this CSS it's going to um, add a 20 pixel margin to the whole um, area notice that everything here if I remove this everything will become more um, to top to the top to the left so we're just gonna leave this here to see it a little bit more more pretty yeah. okay so let's see our example okay so our main Part, our most important part will be here is where we're going to be creating our tabs and our tab content okay so I think this is the most important part so let's go real fast here okay and the more uh, you can activate a tab component without writing any JavaScript notice that we're just going to be using bootstrap and HTML CSS HTML all the animations effects will be handled by bootstrap okay now uh, so what we have to do is basically um specify the data toggle attribute right over here and just let it know that our it's tabs and also we're going to create a tab pane with a unique id and that's right down over here okay and each each um Content tab content will have that pane that tab pane as well and Notice that This tab pane and we mentioned that with a unique ID notice that every ID is unique section a section B drop down one and drop down two okay and <clears throat> Everything here will be wrapped around a tab content class okay so the uh, thing that now we're going to be looking at notice that every time every um, list item has a data toggle okay that a toggle that a toggle and they have a reference and what reference are they um, looking for in the first tab we're looking for ID section a so if we go match it right over here section B reference to section B drop down one to drop down one and drop down two to drop down two okay so I th it's very uh, uh, straightforward um, code uh, and, but we have to be careful because if we don't make the uh, reference properly if we don't make those connections our tabs not gonna work or it's going to um, show maybe something's not gonna it's not gonna work Okay, so it's very important that those references are connected, everything's handled properly. Okay, notice that when I was going to instead in our data toggle, I was using tabs, but in our drop down, my main tab will be drop down, data toggle, drop down. Okay, and class, drop down toggle, just to let it know that it's uh, a drop down. I also added the class caret. Because this added me the arrow pointing down, so we know that it's um, a drop down. It helps the user identify that it's a drop down. 
So I think with, with this we can conclude our demo on Bootstrap Tabs. I hope this video was helpful and I wish you good luck on your web development projects. So have fun. Cheers.